Okay, seventh graders, you're going to work on finding the percent of change. We've been talking about percents as part of a whole. And one of the things that um, people that use, that look at markets or look at um, prices that go up and down, things like that, they often want to know how, what percentage has the amount changed. And so here's the formula. Here's how you find it. You find the difference of the amounts. So if the amount that you're starting with is 15, you find the difference between the two. Subtract the bigger one minus the smaller one, or the bigger absolute value minus the smaller absolute value. Okay? 20 minus 15 is 5. And then simply divide it by the original amount and convert it to a percent. So 20, let's go back, 20 minus 15 is 5, the original amount is 15, and so you use 5, the difference, divided by the original amount, 15, and then find the percent, 33.3 percent. 5 divided by 15 is 33.3 percent. And then you have to tell whether it's an increase or a decrease. How do you know if it's an increase or decrease? No, you look at the original and then the second number, and if the second number is bigger, it's an increase. increase. And if the second number is smaller, it's a decrease. Simple, right? You always find the difference, the difference between the two amounts, and then divide it by the original amount, the amount that you started with, whatever amount was listed first. Okay? So in this one, it started at 4,000 and it went up to 8,500 or 8,500. So the difference between these two numbers is 4,500. When we divide it by 4,000, you have a number bigger than 1. So when you multiply by that, that by 100, you get over a 100% increase. 112.5% increase. So remember, always use the first number as your original amount, the amount you divide by. 1,500 to a decrease to 1,416. That's a difference of 84. And then divide by the original amount. So 84 divided by 1,500 is a 5.6% decrease. Okay. And it's that simple. That's all you need to do is find the difference and divide it by the original amount. Okay? So, your assignment is from page 331. And I want you to do, again, 2 to 20 evens for tomorrow. Okay.